Uh, here's one coming in from A Knot who says, "Hi there, cross up and frame trap." Uh, a knot here. A few podcasts ago, Pat talked about uh, Escape from Tarkov while discussing mm -hmm. uh, Dark and Darker. Well, neither of you have played Tarkov, but there's some big news worth examining. Cheating in Tarkov has been a known issue for a long time. The community's Bummer. a little salty that the devs haven't done more, at least publicly, to address the problem. In the past two months, everyone's generally agreed that cheating has gotten worse and more prevalent. Um, and enter a streamer uh, by the name of uh, Goat Moth. Goat decided to investigate just how bad cheating was. Uh, they made a video, but to summarize, he downloads the cheats himself and uh, walks among the cheaters, posing as one of their own. Uh, his data indicated that in 60% of the games he played, there was at least one confirmed cheater. Uh, the actual number is likely to be even higher, given that he couldn't get confirmation before dying in many instances. He uncovered another part, however, with the cheater's unspoken rules and expected mannerisms. Crazy what? stuff. Uh, oh, that's fascinating. Needless to say, it really blew up, uh, and a lot of Tarkov players, legit and otherwise, are pissed. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Tarkov is dead to them now. The devs have yet to respond. It, that's fire! Like... 60% have at least one confirmed, and then they have their own behavior for if two people are cheating, how to behave. Cheating culture. So That is fascinating. Um, I know for a fact you didn't play much PUBG, but I, I was into PUBG for a while, and uh, everybody that I knew who played PUBG Bye. stopped playing PUBG because it was, it was like right after that the desert map came out where you would play a game... And you would literally always get killed by somebody through a wall or, yeah, or that yeah. you couldn't see. It, it, it was like it was coming up on like 90% of your games. You would encounter somebody cheating and killing you and you were just and then you hit the point of like you do like one afternoon of that and you're like, what am I Fire! doing? Of course. Exactly. Why am I bothering with this? Fire! Now I remember when uh, there was a peak of like the like I guess the moment they figured out how to cheat in Rumbleverse, and there were a number of people that were just going at it, and it was kind of funny because it was that type of cheating where someone would cheat and get to the final ring, but get killed anyway. Yeah, and you're just like, how dog ah! are you? that you cheated and still died like there's like things like that you know where it's like it's helping you by like locking on some of your attack like you or you just float around or all kinds of horse shit would start happening attacks from super far away would work but somehow you still got knocked out in fifth place it's like it's it's kind of hilarious but that requires you to show up and fight people versus getting sniped from a full Bye. you know map away with a, whatever else is going on in, in PUBG. Um, yeah, that is fascinating. Um, have you seen anything like that before? Well, we just kind of mentioned it. But. Yeah, uh, uh, Fire! um, it complete, it completely ruined PUBG. Like, crazy. Fucking awful. And, like, I can, like, uh, to make fun of, like, Valorant, I remember Valorant, uh, had that thing where it has the kernel level anti-cheat on it. And, like, that's still ridiculous. But I can understand why they were like, we need to do this because we can't let the game be ruined by this. Because it never, it, you never unruin a game mm -hmm. by, oh, hey, we, we got rid of all the cheaters, guys. Everybody who left because they got killed by some dude a million miles away through a wall, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. come back. Like, no, it, it would never. Though, funnily enough, I, have, I, I, I bit the bullet, tried to install Valorant. I have never been able to get Valorant to boot on my computer ever weird across across three different computers just won't do it it freaks out and goes no no it's like okay fine you only play your fire. stupid game i and delete I, your shit off my computer goodbye i'm still gonna say that soul cheating is still probably the worst in that like it doesn't ruin your gameplay experience it potentially causes you to get banned as well so I disagree massively because uh cheaters in souls games are 100 percent avoidable by playing offline? 
uh, or in Elden Ring, you're ne like you're never going to encounter inv an invader unless you're playing with co-op people. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm thinking about when the Souls, uh, the re especially the most recent thing happened, where they had to pull the servers off to deal with that shit because like yeah. you could like not have that option in 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 the older games, right? Invasions were gonna uh, connectivity was gonna happen at certain points, and if someone mm -hmm. shows up and drops a, a corrupt item, you're fucking yeah. banned, and that's it. So.